So after watching a lot of AUG based channels, I've noticed something. V perms and F perms are very similar. Let's see how similar they are. Firstly, let's look at this. Here we have the V perm, and we're going to be doing the rotation algorithm or the standard algorithm. It goes like this R prime, U, R, U prime, rotate. Or you could do dy prime like this r prime f prime r2 u prime r prime u r prime f r f not that good there you go that's a good one this f perm is literally the same thing but there's one small modification instead of starting r prime u r prime you start with r prime u to r prime and then you basically do the same except here you add a u prime so that would look like this here's the next algorithm so here's an iudv perm that i don't use i used a modified version of this so r prime u r u prime r d prime r prime d R prime U D prime at the same time. R two U prime R two D R two so it goes faster. And here's another F perm that is pretty much the same thing, but with one slight twist. And so start, instead of starting R prime U R prime, you start with R prime U two R prime, and then the same. And then when you get to here, instead of doing R2, you add a U prime move here. And the last one. So here's a V prime that was discovered recently, and I don't use this, but it's a pretty interesting algorithm. So you do R prime inverse sexy R prime wide F prime U prime anti soon wide F R. I'm not the best at executing it. I'll give you a second to guess what this algorithm might be. So instead of starting R prime U R, you start R prime U two R. And then the rest is pretty much the same, except here you add a U prime. Now you might be thinking to yourself, that's crazy. These two algorithms are really closely related. But there's one more thing. For this, we need the Fisher Cube. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a 3x3 three three shape mod that kind of twists the axes like 45 degrees, so it turns like this. And it basically swaps out some edges for corners. So as you can see, this edge is actually a corner. This is an edge, corner, edge. It, ba it makes sense if you look at it like this. This is the center, this edge is corner. This is an edge, this is a center, and it might make more sense if I do a move like that. But the real thing I want to do here is let's do an F perm. So I'll just do another algorithm, which is R prime U from F prime, do a T perm. It's a bit long algorithm. And once we're done, when we do the F perm on the fish cube, look what we get. It's a V perm. Now that's crazy. Now the reason that happens is because F and V perm are basically the same thing, but the edges and the corners have kind of been like swapped. And if you don't believe me, I'll do a V perm right now. And sure enough, ignore this, we get an F perm. But what about the algorithms? Because to be honest, this is a bit of a bonus. The answer is actually really simple. So here I set up an F perm and a V perm. And if you pay attention to the pieces, the unsolved ones are here, and for the V perm, they're unsolved here. What I'm gonna do on the cube that has the F perm is the moves R prime U R. Now look where the pieces are. So they were here, now they are here. And the pieces on the V perm were here. So if we do any V perm from this angle, whichever V perm it is, whether it's rotation or the ID, and then if we just rotate back for a second, and we can undo the moves. 
Now, generally, this is known as a conjugate. Now, you probably might know this, but in case you don't know, it's basically where you do a few moves and then a base algorithm and then you undo the moves. So, if you use that in a perm, it's really just IU up prime U and then do JB and then you just undo the four moves at the beginning. So that's literally what I'm doing here. It's basically a three move setup into V perm. And then you just undo the three moves. But how come am I able to just change one move? Well, it's all about cancellation. Think about doing RUR prime and then do RUR prime again. If you look at this right now, you really could have done RU to R prime. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Now the three V prime algorithms I listed earlier all start with the moves R prime U R. And the moves to get the F perm step into the V perm were R prime U R. So if you replace that U with a U2, you've actually cancelled a move. And then the extra U at the end is just another cancellation. So here we're about to do R2, and then we have R prime U prime R. But we could just cancel that into R U prime R. So if you're wondering how some V perm algorithms could just be turned into F perms, that's how. And this idea of a conjugate actually can pop up in cubing a lot. For example, another F perm algorithm that a lot of people use, including me, you do R prime U prime F prime and then do a T perm. And then you basically undo the moves, but again, there's a cancellation. Another example is in this OL law, some people use, including me, this algorithm. So you basically do one S prime into sexy sledge, and then you basically do S, S but you have to fix up this cross edge first. Hopefully you learned something new today, and if you did, leave a comment or leave a like and subscribe, obviously. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Let's do V perm F perm time attack. Alright, here we go. Someone frame count that for me, please.